Home organization is meant to make our lives easier. So when our habits and routines change, so do our storage requirements. Today we want our houses to give more than just a roof over our heads and a safe haven. How we live in our houses has changed considerably in the last few years, and it's past time that our organizational solutions catch up. Welcome back to Hella Organized. In today's video, we will be looking at the five viral organizational trends that changed my life. Without further delay, let's dive into the video. But before that, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for regular updates. Number five, file folding. If you're already wondering how to fold clothing in a way that fits nicely in your drawers and saves time in the morning, you've probably been folding things incorrectly your whole life. Folding clothes may be a real challenge if you don't have the right techniques and practice. Folding is a science that can be used to strategically and efficiently utilize all parts of your home. You've probably heard of the KonMari method, which gained popularity following the publication of Mary Kondo's book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. Kondo's joyful yet organized style of house organization has influenced Instagram pages and Pinterest boards worldwide and her manner of folding, in particular, has completely altered the game. The vertical folding method, also known as file folding, has been popular since Kondo's book and Netflix TV program exposed it to a larger audience. Because you can get each shirt to be standard size and stack them vertically, you can catch a peek of the motives on each shirt and won't have to rummage through a bunch to find the ones you're searching for. And it's time for you to practice and fold what you've chosen to keep. The procedure is actually rather simple. Simply fold your clothing into a little rectangle and place it in the drawer. Sweatshirts, trousers, dresses, t-shirts, and skirts. So before you get on board the trend, consider the sorts of products you'll be folding and the style of display that will help you get the most out of them. After all, the organization is all about accessibility, thus the function is essential. Number 4. Decanting An organizer's best buddy is decanting. If you've been around for a long, you're probably aware of this. For those who are unfamiliar with the phrase decanting, it refers to removing products out of their original packing and placing them in typically transparent glass or plastic or metal containers. What you may not be aware of is why everyone enjoys decanting so much. Instead of getting every snack, baking ingredient and dry food at once, start by decanting a few essentials from your cupboard. To begin, merely decant important ingredients such as flour, sugar and perhaps a few snacks to assess how you feel about the decanting procedure. You may intentionally prevent overload by not immersing yourself in the procedure all at once. Instead, simply put your face in the water to see how it feels. If it fits your lifestyle and you realize how much you like decanting, you may expand from here. After easing into the commitment, you may slowly but steadily decant your whole pantry. Consider how much of each commodity you regularly have and buy your containers accordingly. By matching the container size to the number of goods you have, you will save room by not having to put products in two places. If everything fits perfectly into the container you need your goods in, there will be no excess product to keep elsewhere and everything will be in one position. Of course, this is a preference of those who need to maximize their space and do not buy in bulk. Don't worry if you buy in bulk or have leftover items. Simply select a location or container for all back stock goods. When you run out of supplies, just shop in your pantry. Number 3. Storage, Containers, Bins Different types of bins are beneficial for various situations while trying to organize your house. Solid colored bins are ideal for items that do not lay flat in the bin and hence appear cluttered. Look-through bins are useful for organizing areas where you need to see into the bins. Colored bins may be used to arrange items by color, complement your decor, or simply make an area appear more active. Moreover, colored bins are very popular with children. Bins should normally have lids if they are to stack and grab handles, if they are to be stored low or filled with heavy items. Storage containers in particular might divert some people's attention away from the decluttering process. Some individuals are inclined to keep things based on the size of the bin rather than focusing on the more difficult issue of whether an item should stay or leave. Storage bins can also be used to put off decision making by concealing items. Out of sight, out of mind, and boxes may quickly accumulate into unimaginable clutter. Even unnoticed clutter that does not interfere with your daily life may deprive you of peace since it remains on your subconscious to-do list. Seasonal or hardly used items should not take up valuable real estate and obstruct the flow of your home's primary areas. 
They should, however, remain available. Ladders and additional place settings, for example, may not need to be kept in the main kitchen cabinets and might instead be kept on a garage shelf or the back area of your pantry. Merely don't store them too deeply or you'll be tempted to buy duplicates just to avoid the effort of digging out the ones you already have. Items that are often used should be put in prominent, easy to access locations. Using storage containers to organize these goods can add an added degree of organization. For example, if you always use 10 ramekins at a time, putting them all in a container will allow you to find them quickly. Tiny, open, stackable bins are ideal for precisely separating small items such as nails, screws, nuts and bolts. They are also suitable for crayons, hair bands and erasers. In the laundry area, people tend to keep sponges, dusters, bin liners and rubber gloves. They are available in a variety of sizes and by stacking them, they may easily fit on tight or deep shelves. Number 2. Labeling One disadvantage of having things to finding what you may need when you really need it. Constantly looking for something not only consumes time, but may also drive you insane. Labels may truly become part of the decor and bring flair to a place with so many exciting alternatives available. When you see how much time and energy labeling can save you, you'll be ready to put that label printer to use. True, you may not want labels visible in your house, but there are ingenious methods to distinguish labels while still allowing them to do their vital function of directing everything into the correct area with no stray stowaways. Labeling sections in your refrigerator ensures that everyone who puts things away and takes things out of the fridge knows exactly where to put things and where to locate things. Labels will also keep your inner fridge in order, but you'll save money by not buying duplicate goods or letting items go to waste when they expire before you utilize them. Label shelves, door bins, drawers, and any freestanding bins used to store products in the refrigerator. Labeling bins help you concentrate on the task at hand while taking something out of or putting something away by reducing distractions. With labels, you'll be less inclined to put items down whenever they fit which progressively destroys the order you spent so much time cultivating. Every type of storage container, from the large ones in the garbage to the small ones beneath your bathroom sink and in the craft cupboard can be labeled. Number 1. Folding Hacks If you fold your fresh clothes quickly before putting them all away, you're not only wasting space and causing chaos in your closets and cabinets, but you're also wrinkling all of your stuff. Folding your garments carefully can also help you save a lot of storage space. Not only will your shelves seem as neat and clean as the department store stacks, but you'll be able to view everything you possess at a glance after you've neatly folded your shirts, jeans, sweaters, and socks. Or try standing them up or filling them vertically in cabinets or storage boxes. That way you can easily identify what you need and take it out of the drawer without causing the entire pile to collapse. Your laundry will have far fewer creases and wrinkles after folding. You want to look your best while wearing a new shirt or pair of jeans. Wearers of wrinkled clothes appear untidy and are harder to take seriously. Wearing smooth, well-folded clothing feels nice and looks excellent. There are several ways to let shirts stand erect instead of stacking them on top of one another and then digging through the pile. It allows you to see your complete collection at once and more effectively fills the drawers. With this, we've come to an end. The content in this video is for educational purposes only. Do let us know in the comments section below. Also, make sure you like this video, leave a comment with your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest videos.